Hi friends, today we're going to cover another controversial nutrition topic. We're going to discuss the pros and the cons of consuming canola oil. Now believe it or not, canola oil was actually developed by a Canadian researcher who created an edible version of the rapeseed plant, now known as canola. Let's begin by going through two of the major concerns that people have when it comes to consuming canola oil. Firstly, a major downside of canola oil is that it's highly refined. In order to extract oil from canola seeds, it requires a number of steps that involves both high heat as well as chemical exposure to hexane solvents. Now, oils are highly sensitive to heat. This reduces the amount of nutrients found in the final product. I want you to imagine a super ripe olive. If I just give this olive a squeeze, the oils will come squirting out. However, a canola seed is more similar to that of a chia seed. Can you imagine trying to squeeze out the oil from a chia seed? This is why it requires such high heat and chemical exposure. Secondly, canola oil is high in omega-6 fatty acids. Now I want to make it clear, omega-6 fatty acids are actually essential for health, but for most of us, we're consuming way too much omega-6 fatty acids and way too little omega-3 fatty acids, which could lead to inflammation. So the most important thing for you to understand is we want to make sure we're not over-consuming omega-6 fatty acids. Now, let's move on to the pros. Firstly, canola oil is a good source of monounsaturated fatty acids, similar to that of olive oil, which have been shown to be beneficial for heart health. Secondly, canola oil has the least amount of saturated fat compared to any other plant oil, including olive oil. Lastly, canola oil is cheap and affordable as well as neutral in flavor, which means it does go well with most cuisines and baked good recipes. Bottom line, canola oil shouldn't scare you, but if you can spend a little bit more money, I would personally choose a less refined oil, such as extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil, which is my personal favorite because it can withstand really, really high heat and it's neutral in flavor, so it's super versatile. I hope you found this video helpful, and until next time, relish every bite.